Hello everyone and welcome back to another LEGO Lover 117 video. Right now we're in for another review. That's right, and this review is going to be on... Coldy the Mountain Engine. Let's get into the history on our faithful friend here, Coldy. So Coldy was originally introduced in 1996 and was then retired in 2000. He was then brought back in 2005 in uh, the uh, Coldy and the a Apple Orchard Cars uh, three pack and then that pack was retired in 2008 along with the new style Coldy and then recently in 2015 Coldy was reintroduced into the Thomas Wynn Railway for some bizarre reason I really don't know why but uh, that model of Coldy has not been retired just yet so that's your history on Coldy in the Thomas Wynn Railway let's Let's take a look at the actual model of Coldy. So this Coldy that you're looking at right now is a 2000, and I believe it's 2003. Let me, 2002 actually. This model of Coldy was retired individually in 2000, but uh, you could still get him in the day at the work set like I got mine. So this one is from 2002. Like I stated, he came in the day at the work set. He, he's got a nice purple to him. I really like his color. Two domes for some reason. There's your face. Nice smiley, happy face. Because, you know, children love smiley, happy faces. The other side is exactly the same. The back has a creepy face. I, I don't know why he has a back face. On the bottom, Coldy. And like I just checked the wheel dates earlier because I'm stupid. 2002. So that's your old style Coldy. Now the 2005 version of Coldy, which should be showing on your screen right now. Uh, I don't have that version, but you can look at the picture that I strategically placed on your screen in front of you. And uh, this new style of Coldy looked a lot more like the Railway Series model because the older style didn't really resemble the mountain engines as much as the uh, newer style did in 2005. And a lot of users consider that to be their favorite and the best model of Coldy. Enough about that model of Coldy because it w uh, that Coldy was only around for three years because... Uh, it was only sold in the uh, Coldy and the Apple Orchard 3-pack, and that pack never really caught on, so Learning Curve was like, okay, axe, it's gone. And then they never thought to bring back Coldy into the TWR again, because they knew Coldy didn't make money. And we all know that Learning Curve loved money. Just like Learning Curve Irv loved money, Mattel loves money as well. And so, in 2015... Mattel had the weird idea to bring back Coley into the TWR because I guess they thought this new this new model of Coley would make money more than Learning Curve's older models did. So, let's look at the 2015 model of Coley. He's definitely a lot boxier, if you can tell. He's he's basically a giant box, which is kind of how the 2005 model looked. There's the side. I really like the inner workings uh, showing how like mountain engines looked. This this uh, like side is definitely more accurate to the railway series model of Coley. More so than the older style was. The back, the face, oh my lord. Let's get that in focus so you can actually see its creepiness. There you go. There you go. That's gonna haunt your dreams. But anyway, this is where uh, railway enthusiasts go nuts. Because he finally has the four over the, the back of his cab, a.k.a. Oliver Duck. The other side is, ident is, is identical. He also gained a funnel, just like Duck did. No, that was two domes. That was, that was two domes. Not, whatever. And his funnel's been enlarged. His dome has been enlarged. 
and uh, his his boiler is actually not slanted. I know that these side rods kind 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 of make make it look slanted, but is his boiler is actually not slanted. I know that took that took weeks of pondering and weeks of staring and lots of blood loss, but his boiler is not slanted. His face has been enlarged because uh, I guess Mattel has caught on to the fad that uh, Learning Curve had that kids love bigger, smilier faces, which they do. On the bottom, Colby. And we'll just check the wheel dates. 2012. Come on, Mattel. You were on a high with uh, the NWR pack getting getting those wheel dates updated, and now you're back to 2012 on the wheels. Come on, Mattel. Come on. And I'm just going to give you a quick look at the box here. Thomas Wynn Railway limited release of Coldy. So I guess... I guess Mattel knew that Coldy wouldn't make that much money, so they made him a limited release. Kind of like uh, D199. There's the back. Colors and decorations may vary. I actually kind of like that. Don't know why, I just do. But anyway, let's move on to compare these two models of Coldy. First of all, this model's a lot more boxier, like I said. This one is kind of boxy, but he's got like a weird kind of thing cut out in the front. And none of the mountain engines in the railway series had that, so that's kind of weird. Obviously, the face is smaller on the old style. The detail on this one is a lot better than this one. Because this one matches the railway series. The face has been dramatically changed. Other side is the uh, opposite sides are the same. Bottoms, obviously, this one doesn't have any recall codes. Tops, and that's pretty much it for the compare for uh, the comparisons. Really, the only thing that's different is the fact that this model is completely changed, and it's actually. I wouldn't say it's a hybrid of this one because I don't think there's any elements of this one that went into making this one because this one's actually a more lighter purple than this one. So, uh, I'd say that this one more resembles the 2005 version than its 1996 counterpart. So, with all that said, let's move on to the Recommends and overall ratings. Uh, I'd say for the older style Coldy, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Solid 7. And for the 2015 version, it gets about an 8 out of 10. I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of the 2015 version when I first saw its images when they first surfaced. I, I was... Uh, I was like, holy crap, that thing looks ugly, that thing looks really, really bad, and I'm not buying it. But then I uh, saw him in person at the uh, train convention, which if you guys haven't watched that video, go ahead and check that out right after this one's done. Yeah, when I saw the newer style in person, I was like, hey, this doesn't actually look that bad. The pictures misrepresent it. And yeah, if you guys are watching this video and you're like, the 2015 version looks like it's crap, uh... Go ahead and try to find one and look at it in person because it actually, it's actually not that bad, guys. It's, it's really not. But anyway, to the recommends, I think I'd recommend the 2005 version overall <laughs> because the 2005 version, while it is mostly plastic, I think it's the best and most accurate model of Coldy out there. So I would recommend the 2005 version to like railway enthusiast <coughs> all over duck <coughs> here the Japanese train <coughs> but or or to like people who just really like really really d d detailed models uh, as for 1996's version I would recommend it yeah to anyone who doesn't have it and as for the 2015 yeah I would definitely recommend it if you want something that's probably going to be a bit rare in the future because 
uh, it is a limited release. So anyway, that's my review of Coley the Mountain Engine. Thank you all for watching, and as always, good night, everybody.